It's time for the Daily Sports Rush from Sports Not For September 4th, 2024. What's up, sports fans? It's your boy Scott Cobranson here with the Daily Sports Rush from Sports Not. We've got a packed lineup today, so buckle up. This one's going to be fast, furious, and maybe a little bit fiery. Let's hit it. First up, chaos reigns supreme in the latest AP Top 25. Miami, USC, and Notre Dame just said, hey, move over, folks. Miami jumped from number 19 to 12 after curb stomping Florida 41 to 17. Not to be outdone, USC leapfrogged from 23 to number 13 after a solid 27-20 win over LSU. And hey, Notre Dame's knocking on the door of the top five, sliding up from number seven to number five. Meanwhile, Clemson dropped 11 spots to number 25. Ouch. Georgia still sitting pretty at number one after bulldozing Clemson 34 to three. It's like a roller coaster, except Clemson fans can't scream loud enough to stop the drop. In NFL news, big man Trent Williams is back in the Bay and he's bringing a new three year, $82.69 million contract with him. Guess the 49ers decided they'd rather pay up than let their all pro tackle jet off to Cancun. His brother, Fred, even posted a video on Trent boarding a plane back to San Francisco. And no, it wasn't a spear flight. This dude's flying first class like his contract with $48 million guaranteed. It's good to be Williams right now. The Niners are locking and loading for their season opener against the Jets. And Williams is ready to protect like he's guarding the last slice of pizza at a frat party. Meanwhile, over in Pittsburgh, Cam Hayward just signed a three-year $45 million deal to stay with the Steelers. He's been vocal about wanting to retire in black and gold, and now he's got his wish. Hayward's got more one helmet loyalty than most fans have loyalty to the fantasy teams. And trust me, with $15 million signing bonus, that helmet's looking pretty damn shiny. Let's hope he's got some sacks left in the tank, or at least enough juice to keep those terrible towels waving. On a much sadder note, the hockey world is reeling from the tragic loss of Johnny and Matthew Goudreau, who were killed last week by a suspected drunk driver. The outpouring of support has been overwhelming. Over $550,000 raised on GoFundMe for Matthew's widow, who's expecting their first child. Folks, if this doesn't tug at your heartstrings, you might want to check if you have a pulse. Rest in peace, Johnny and Matthew. The rink will not be the same without you. All right. Life is precious, people. Don't take it for granted. Uh, And that's going to do it for today's Sports Rush. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for more of the latest and greatest from around the world of sports. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe, stay strong, and keep that sports spirit alive.